up guys, my name is Alex and welcome to my first recap video of Winona Earp Season 2. Obviously we're recapping the first episode of Season 2. <sighs> I'm so goddamn excited for the season. So if you guys are new here, um, my recap videos is pretty much, pretty much just me fangirling over the episode by going through over some details and stuff like that that I've seen in the episode. So if you guys have not seen the episode, I would not highly recommend watching this video because there's going to be a lot of spoilers. But with that being said, let's get into recapping this week's episode. So we start off the, the episode and I was thinking we were going to start off with, uh, you know, figuring out who Waverly shoots. We kind of do, but it doesn't answer any of my Waverly questions whatsoever. So we, we start off the episode with uh, Waverly and Doc legging it. They're running for their lives. Um, we find out that they're running from this crazy new like monster supernatural person who honestly reminded me of, if you guys have played the game The Last of Us, reminded me of those clickers. Oh my god, those are scary as fuck. But they're running away from this thing. It's a new monster in, in purgatory. Um, and, and, and they're just running for their lives. So obviously that had been the thing that Waverly had shot at. But that doesn't answer any of our questions about the goo, about what it did to Waverly. It doesn't answer anything. It does. <laughs> oh, let me just give you a, a warning. I, I feel like this episode left me left me with more questions than answers. I was hoping for some answers in 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 this first episode, but I didn't. I didn't. I really don't think we got much. We just got more questions. <laughs> anyway, moving on for that. Uh, we see, uh, oh, first of all, let's talk about Needly for a second because I love Needly so much. And um, uh, Emily was talking about in the AMA yesterday, I think, she was saying how much she loves Needly as well. So I'm hoping we get a heap more Needly in this season because I just, yeah, <laughs> I think he's great. Anyway, so we learned that the Black Badge um, has come in and cleaned out the their office that they had in um, in the uh, the sheriff's department. So that kind of brings up some questions, like where are they going to be working out of now? Like, is there going to be a new home base? Because uh, you know, if, obviously, if you guys have seen the episode, they're going to continue to be, you know, working together and fighting bad guys. Um, so that I mean, yeah, I'm curious where they're going to be working from now. Like, are they working from like the homestead? Is that where they're working from now? I don't know. I like to see them have a snazzy new office. Anyway. <laughs> now jumping over to like my biggest surprise of this episode. Ah, if you guys have seen my reaction video, which there's a link to my Patreon if you guys want to go check out my reaction video. But if you guys have watched my reaction video, you will know how much I freaked out over this surprise. I was not expecting it at all. And it was like the greatest thing ever. So we got Rachel Scar... Scar... <laughs> I'm so great with names. I am brilliant. Anyway, so yeah, she, she d d pops up in this episode. If you guys don't know Rachel, she was on Lost Girls. I've talked about Lost Girls plenty of times on this channel. One of my favorite characters on Lost Girls. Um, Lost Girl. I, I just, yeah, I just, <laughs> I was so happy when I saw that she was in this episode. And they start off, like, they introduce her in the best possible way with, like, a, a half-naked fight scene. What more can a girl ask for? I mean, really. <laughs> so, um, Winona's trying to figure out where, where Dolls lives and she finds a, a hotel room which looks like it's got his stuff in it. Um, and, and Rachel's character, who, whose name is Eliza, is there. Um, obviously had just taken a shower, I'm assuming. Um, yeah. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> I love that she was just like, just, just had a great wit about her, her character. Um, it was, yeah, she's very, very entertaining to watch. Um, the, the Here Comes the Boom, where she hits her over the head with a, with a, with a lamp. Great. Loved it, loved it. I just loved that scene. It was a great scene. <laughs> so jumping over to like, one of my favorite scenes of this, this episode. We got like that, the way hot mending scene. <laughs> Cue the fan going. I just, <laughs> Look, I'm I'm not gonna I'm 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 just gonna be honest. <laughs> there was <laughs> there was some slight boob and I appreciated it. Oh I'm going rude. <laughs> Look, they just have great chemistry and I will watch them making out any day of the week, all day. I just <laughs> I just I just <laughs> What what can I say about this scene except just like squealing and fangirling? <laughs> but we do need to talk about just quickly. 
basically what Nicole says, like, after the kiss, which is, like, com- has confused me. So she says that, like, Waverly tastes different. And, like, we can take this in a couple different ways, right? I just... One of the ways, which is a possibility, I feel like, is it's sort of hinting at Nicole being a little supernatural, but I don't know if I'm on board with that completely, you know? I don't... I don't know. Like, I don't know if she says you taste different because she's got, like you know, supernatural (laughs) senses, I don't know, or, you know, she's just, like, I feel like they haven't been together long enough to really, (laughs) I don't know, right? (laughs) Like, if they, I don't know, I don't know how to take that, that, that comment, you taste different, I don't know how to take it. Maybe it's just, like, it could just be her being like, oh, this feels different. Like, this kiss feels different, you know, from my other kisses. It could just be something simple like that. Or it could be, you know, she's got (laughs) some supernatural ability. Who knows? I don't know. I I honestly have no idea. So, uh, Doc sort of interrupts them in a very polite way. (laughs) Um, yeah. Nicole's a little confused, but she heads out. And then we sort of get, like, the first mention of evil Waverly. Like, I don't know how to explain what Waverly is. Like, she doesn't, we don't actually see the dark eyes here, but she talks about how she feels strong. Um, and it's sort of like a, a first clue at, 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 at Waverly's abilities, I guess. She feels strong, stronger. I don't know how strong she feels. Um, but yeah, she, we get a first mention of what is affecting Waverly. Not a great whole lot of details, but first mention. We jump back to uh, Winona and Eliza. They're still in the apartment figuring shit out. Um, I just have to say, I love their banter throughout the whole of this episode. Like, they just had great chemistry um, with each other. It was, I just, yeah, those two were great. I loved, yeah, their banter and just (laughs) their snarkiness towards each other. It was a good time. It was a good time. Then we jump back over to the homesteads um, and they're trying to figure out how to get dolls. They're trying to figure out a plan and um, Eliza sort of just rocks up and everyone's like, um, hello. <laughs> uh, and, and Waverly introduces Nicole again as her girlfriend. <gasps> but, like, we do get, like, sort of a hint of a hesitation from Winona, right? I don't know what that means. We we have been hinted at before, like, at the Klexicon panel that the, um, that the Emily, uh, Cat and Dom did. They did mention that there's going to be sort of maybe some tension, uh, some protectiveness coming from Winona in regards to uh, Nicole. So I'm, I feel like this is sort of just like a, a tiny glimpse into that with uh, Winona's hesitation to, um, I don't know, introduce Nicole as Waverly's girlfriend. Maybe she just didn't know how what titles they were going by, you know, if they had actually officially gotten together. Who knows what uh, the hesitation was from. But yeah, the cute little smile that Nicole gave Waverly when she introduced her her girlfriend. (gasps) The dimples are back! (laughs) We also get like our first sort of glimpse into maybe uh, Nicole's sort of tension for this season might be. Um, She sort of voices her her uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Like, she says that she's agent hot. She was got, she got, like, sort of introduced into the Black Badge team by, by, uh, dolls at the end of last season. And she is sort of looking for confirmation from, like, Doc being like, you know, he did that, right? And, and Doc's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can sort of see that, I don't know, it feels like she's definitely trying to, um, fit into the team. Um, but it's sort of, Is it working? I guess you could say. She, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like this is where some tension might come in the season with her trying to fit in the team or her feeling a little bit left out. So then we go over to um, Eliza, Doc and Winona heading over to the Black Badge sort of place, uh, trying to get into the safe. And then uh, Eliza and Doc sort of talking about what Dolls is because Doc sort of got a glimpse of it. I don't know if Doc knows specifically what Dolls is or if he just knows that, you know, Dolls... I mean, yeah, Dolls isn't completely human and he's just like... He just goes with it because he's not really surprised by any supernaturals at this point. Um, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, so I guess we don't... We still don't get any real details about what Dolls is this this episode. Um, we sort of just get told 
by Eliza that it is man-made. Like, he's not um, supernatural by birth. I don't... <laughs> can you even be supernatural by birth? I don't know. Like, even the Revenants, they're not... They weren't supernatural by birth. They were supernatural by death, right? You know, how they died, I guess. Um, anyway, so... Um, yeah, we don't really get specifics about what Dolls is. It's just that it's man-made. Um, he has to take his medicine to control it, I guess. Yeah, still not a whole lot of answers in regards to Dolls. <laughs> Jumping over to the, the barn scene. We got like a promo pic for this. And we had like a, a, a sneak peek um, shown, I think the day before. Um, but I didn't watch it because I wanted to be completely unspoiled. Anyway, so we go to the barn scene, the way hot barn scene. And um, we actually get sort of like our first glimpse in this episode of the evil sort of dark Waverly. I still don't know if we can call her evil Waverly because it doesn't seem like she's evil, just like different, you know? I don't, yeah, it's, it's something that I think was gonna be explored throughout the season um, and it's not as black and white as we may have thought. Uh, but yeah, so we, we get a glimpse. I don't, yeah, again, I don't know what I should call her. Maybe you guys can help me out with what what, what are we calling Supernatural Waverly? Um, anyway, so we get a glimpse of uh, the dark eyes uh, this scene. <laughs> and I'm like freaking out because she's holding a fucking axe behind <laughs> Nicole's back. Anyway, so she chops off the, the uh, that demon monster's head. And it seems the dark eyes really only come out when she's around other monsters like that's what, what we've seen so far like she had the dark eyes when she obviously touched the goo for the first time but also we know now that there was a monster around that time as well we got the dark eyes here when even though the monster's dead there's still a monster around and she's still interacting with the monster <laughs> interacting I mean like cutting off its head but still and then there's another time we see dark Waverly um, with another monster, but I'll touch on that later. But yeah, we get another sort of uh, glimpse at, at Nicole sort of feeling maybe a little bit left out in this scene as well, because, you know, Waverly chops off the, the monster's head, says we're not doing what we were going to be doing, and Nicole's like, geez, would you mind, like, telling me what the plan is before, you know, I, I think you're going to do something weird with an axe? <laughs> yes, it's definitely a common thre uh, thread this this episode where Nicole is... is I don't know, yeah, trying to, trying to fit in a bit more, feel a bit more part of the, the team. So then after that, we get, <laughs> we get like undercover Waverly, my God. <laughs> Look, I'm just going to say it, she was super fucking hot. <laughs> yeah, the, the outfit, the glasses, the accent, oh, like, <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> so Waverly's undercover and she's, she was plan B that she turns into plan C. I don't really know what plan B was entirely. Was she, mm, was she just trying to open the doors and then leave? I can't remember. Anyway, so she's heading into the, the super lab with all the supernaturals um, in the black badge division. And so we sort of get a glimpse at uh, some other creatures that we might, might see uh, in the rest of the season. We get sort of like this alien, like this legit, like, Look, comes from the alien movies sort of thing. Looked like it's in an egg kind of thing. I don't know. It was gross. <laughs> there we had like, there was another box that was just like completely like foggy. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was another one with like, just like this creepy ass fucking chick in there. She's like in a schoolgirl outfit or something. She's fucking scary as shit. I don't want to see that again, to be honest. Because like, ugh. <laughs> We also get introduced to a new guy whose name we find out later on is Jeremy. I am a fan of Jeremy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a big fan of Jeremy and I feel like he's a new, like, sort of consistent character throughout the season, right? I feel, yeah, we're gonna see more of him, which I'm excited about because he seems to have some great chemistry with the rest of the the, the characters. So I'm, I'm excited to see Jeremy more, you know? He seems very smart as well. It'd be interesting to see him and Waverly. Uh, I don't know, nerd out together, I guess. <laughs> Maybe even Jeremy, because um, we're jumping forward a little bit, but um, Jeremy might end up being someone that helps Waverly with her evil or dark side that she now has, because um, as we see later on, he is witness to this, this other side of Waverly. So it could be sort of like a secret side mission that these two go on. I don't know, that'd be really exciting though. So they get chased away, like, 
Waverly like tries to hit Jeremy over the head with something to knock him out to steal the, the computer. She fails. So I don't know how strong she actually is if she can't knock this dude out. Anyway, so he starts bleeding and this monster comes after him. They go and hide. Um, and then she's freaking out. She's like, I'm not actually British or from this other place. Um, I'm, you know, Waverly Earp and I came with my sister. And can we also talk about how she's like, we came with this super fit secret agent. She's talking about Eliza. She was totally checking out Eliza and I can't blame her. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Eliza, we jump over to uh, Winona and Eliza sort of killing these, like, fighting these bad guys in an elevator. They kick an ass. It's great news. It's great. I love it. And then <laughs> Winona's like, I thought you were good in your underwear. And then, like, Eliza's like, you should see me naked. You should see what I can do naked. Dead. <gasps> I would love to see what she can do naked. And what? <laughs> Look, I'm just going to put it out there. I, I would totally ship them, to be honest. If this episode didn't end the way it does, I would totally ship them. <laughs> then we have Doc, who's uh, out saving dolls. Uh, he, he's taking it upon himself to go save dolls because, um, well, one, he needs Wa uh, Winona to save Waverly as well, help Waverly out. But he also, I feel like, um, doesn't want Winona to have to kill dolls as well if the... the, um, the if, if it arrives that she had to, you know, if dolls wasn't who he was anymore, like if he would had completely turned um, and she'd have to kill him. I don't think uh, Doc would want that, considering how not so great Winona is dealing with just having killed her own sister. So, Doc, badass dude, uh, goes to save dolls. He's got like sticks of dynamite on him and yeah, it, it was just a badass scene. He's like, how do you like my moustache now? I was like, yeah man, I kind of want a moustache now, right? <laughs> Alright, so jumping over to that scene where I talked about um, where Jeremy sees Waverly in her other form. So they sort of leave the room and then the monster comes after them again and Waverly transforms. I don't know the right word. I don't know anything about what Waverly is doing. Anyway, so Waverly <laughs> turns to her dark side and she's got this weird voice now, like this, this double voice sort of thing. I don't know. Anyway, so she's like I don't know if she's either controlling the monster, right, or or the monster just scared of her. Either way, it's kind of terrifying, but also amazing, and I cannot wait to see more of this. Um, but yeah, I think that's interesting. It'll be interesting to find out if she was controlling the monster or uh, just scaring the monster, right? Like, like she's just like so powerful that the monster was like, "Wow, well, yeah, no, I'm not gonna go there." <laughs> But in the end, they all get sort of caught. <laughs> um, and we do find out that Eliza's character is, um, is is a monster as well. Like the same thing that Dolls is. We don't know what that is, but she's that. Um, but unfortunately, she doesn't survive the episode, <laughs> which I like screamed about in my reaction. I was so mad because I was like so keen for her to be here like the whole season because I loved the banter between her and Winona. Ah, oh, so good. But anyway, they all get captured and then um, Eliza gets killed and uh, the rest of the Scooby gang uh, are, they have to sign in blood, essentially joining the Black Badge and they're still staying in purgatory and still killing the revenants, but they're now working for the Black Badge in doing that. And they have signed by blood to be a part of Black Badge, which is terrifying. Who knows where that's going to go? I feel like the dude, I don't know what he, that main dude that seems to be in charge. Uh, all I know him as him as is Art from <laughs> Orphan Black. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I wonder if he's going to be like sort of a, a reoccurring character of this season i yeah i really don't know what to expect in regards to the black badge this season so they all sign in in blood to join the black badge except for nicole because she's obviously not there she's the she's the escape the the escape driver um and <laughs> she she doesn't sign um in blood she doesn't join the black badge uh because they sort of tell them that she, that no one else knows of this, even though they know Nicole knows. Um, and again, it's, it's shown that it looks like Nicole is disappointed that she's not a part of it. Um, she's not a part of this team and she feels a little disconnected from it. And I think she's also, I think she's also like, I don't know, I guess, I, I, I feel like she feels like Waverly feels a little off 
You know, I don't, yeah, I feel like she might feel a little different. Like, like she might, I don't know. I feel like she's, she's got a sense that Waverly's seeming weird. Um, yeah, so that's, that. We, we, we got some tension going on with Nicole uh, from this first episode. And I'm very, I'm actually very excited to see um, them go into this tension uh, and, and how that might affect the way hot relationship and stuff like that. I am very excited to see this angst. I do enjoy angst. As long as I, <laughs> I don't have to worry about one of them dying, I enjoy angst all day long. <laughs> Now jumping over to the last scenes, we got Winona finally grieving over Willow, which just tore my goddamn heart out. Oh, Melanie can act like a motherfucker. Oh my god. <laughs> my feels. And then we also see uh, Dole's returning Winona's uh, uh, necklace. Necklace. That's not a word. Necklace. Um, uh, and I don't know, like, I guess he's on the run now from the Black Badge and stuff like that. But where is he going to go? And it kind of feels like he's not really going to be too present in this season. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, uh, I, I just, I, it kind of felt like we were saying goodbye to Dolls for a little bit. Like, I definitely think he's he'll be back this season. But when? Maybe towards the end of the season or maybe halfway through the season. I have no idea. Um, but it definitely feels like he's going to be absent for a little bit, which I'm kind of sad about. I am very sad. But it also raises questions about like what he, he told to Doc to tell her, but Doc didn't actually tell Winona unless Dolls told Doc something to tell to someone else. I don't know. <laughs> there's just, there's too many questions from this episode and I'm just, I'm so excited for the season. Like this, the, the premiere was an amazing episode and I just, even though I have so many more questions than I do answers, I'm just, I'm, I love it. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, that was my recap of this episode. Um, like I mentioned in this video, I did a, a live reaction to the episode. If you guys would like to go check that out, it is up on my Patreon. So, uh, doesn't matter how much you pledge, you get access to that reaction and plus any of my other reactions. Um, yeah, I, it was, if, uh, yeah, a good time. A good time. <laughs> I would love to know your thoughts on this episode in the comment section below, or you can tweet me, Tumblr me, whatever. Those links are in the description. I am, I'm so goddamn excited for this season. I just, yeah. <laughs> well, I think that's about it from me. I hope you guys had an amazing day, an amazing Winona Earp day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.